A recent study found regular use of proton pump inhibitors, or PPIs, for acid reflux raises the risk of stomach cancer. PPI users, Prilosec and Prevacid, in the study had twice the risk for stomach cancer compared to those who used H2 receptor acid-reducing drugs, Tagamet and Pepsid. About 20% of Americans suffer with acid reflux and heartburn. Most people attribute acid reflux to excess stomach acid. Most often, this is not the case. Not the case. Generally, the problem is too little stomach acid. So how does low stomach acid cause acid reflux? Great question. The stomach is highly acidic by design so that it can quickly break down foods and kill bacteria, fungi, and other pathogens. It's part of your immune system. It starts the digestion process and acts as a first line of defense for the immune system. Good stomach acidity also helps absorb minerals and signal the rest of the digestive tract to release the right hormones, enzymes, and emulsifiers. After chewing, this is the first step of digestion. Sufficient stomach acid is an important first step in ensuring overall digestion runs smoothly and that you're less susceptible to heartburn, indigestion, belching gas, food allergies, bacterial infections, and abdominal pain. So what causes low stomach acid? Common factors that cause low stomach acid include stress, bacterial infection, poor diet, and nutritional deficiencies. However, an H. pylori infection, which is linked to stomach ulcers, is one of the most common causes of low stomach acid. If you have any type of pet, this is a common route of transmission. They lick your hand, you grab a piece of food, stick it in your mouth, Voila, H. pylori. So I know this is hard to resist. Don't let them lick your face unless you are absolutely sure they don't have it and wash your hands frequently with regular soap, not triclosan antibacterial soap. See my previous post. Other factors that play a role in low stomach acid include hypothyroidism, pernicious anemia, and deficiencies in zinc, B12, magnesium, or chloride. People who have been vegetarians or vegans for a long time may be deficient in zinc and or B12, which are abundant in meats. How does low stomach acid cause acid reflux? In order for the small intestine to receive food from the stomach, the contents must be acidic enough to trigger the passage. When this fails to happen, the shooed foots back up into the esophagus. Although the food is not acidic enough for the small intestine, it is too acidic for the esophageal tissue. This is what causes the burning of acid reflux or heartburn. So why do antacids worsen acid reflux in the long run? Antacids or acid blockers bring temporary relief but can cause bigger problems in the long run. Without stomach acid to trigger the release of enzymes, digestive, issue, or digestive hormones, and emulsifiers, Nutrient absorption suffers, and the digestive tract is more prone to infection, inflammation, and damage. It starts a vicious cycle that is often very hard and sometimes painful to break. See my previous post on how to test for low stomach acid. That's a good one and one of the most popular ones. So how do you improve low stomach acid? The first thing to do with low stomach acid is address the root cause. As we age, stomach acid naturally decreases. You can boost stomach acid by taking a supplement that contains betaine HCL. However, if you have stomach ulcers or stomach autoimmunity, when the immune system attacks and destroys tissue, supplementing with HCL could make you feel worse. In these situations, you need to address the existing or underlying condition first. And here's another biggie. So also keep in mind that many times if you're acid deficient, for long enough or severe enough, when you do a test with betaine HCL, you can sometimes have the test results come back as if you have too much or sufficient acid. This is basically caused by the stomach lining becoming thinned and irritated. Thus, you become intolerant to normal stomach acid levels. It's kind of like a false positive. This is a difficult case to deal with, but not impossible. If this is something you need help with, give my office a call. Don't try to do this on your own. This is really a difficult one and can be kind of touchy. I'm Dr. Craig Mortensen, an anti-antacid doctor. Be healthy, be happy.